Good morning! Welcome back everybody. I am back from my little break. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Um, it is 8.20 a.m. I woke up at 8. I just want to get back on my routine now. I had my nice break. I slept in a little bit. I had leisurely days and now I'm like, all right, I'm feeling it. Like I want to feel my best and I felt my, sorry, this lighting is kind of weird right now. Like what is happening right there? Oh, it's, I had like a cleaner in the sun and it was waving. That's what that was. I'm ready to get back on my ish. So as soon as my alarm went off at 8 a.m. this morning, I hopped right out of bed. I did my skincare, brushed my teeth. I flossed, I'm starting to floss now. I know, big girl things. I'm taking my symbiotics, getting the day started right. I can get them down quick now. Impressive, right? Okay, there was a little pressure there, you know what I mean? Check it off the list. So what have I been doing? It felt like a longer break to you guys, but I really only didn't film for like one week, but I wanna get back on my schedule. I like to film the weekend, post it the next weekend, film the week, post it the next week. I really wanted to take this week off to get some things organized and done that I just haven't and do it without having to film at all. We started making more progress on some wedding stuff and then for like our engagement shoot, I had to make like my new appointments for my new extensions and my new color and like I coordinated all that and my spray tan and I had to do stuff for finances. I went and got my nails done. I did like a nude pinkish underneath and then white chrome on top. I wanted to test these out for our engagement shoot in May because I thought that these would be pretty like bridal looking nails and they are perfect. I love them. I also kept them longer than I usually do. I usually have them cut them and I was like, no, you could just leave them. And I think they're so pretty. So love, these are what I'll do for our engagement shoot. Maybe even the wedding, we'll see. The weather is finally starting to get a little bit warmer. So I've been spending some time outside and I've been reading. I started Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. So good so far. I haven't finished it yet, but I plan on finishing it this week, this upcoming week. Also ordered a power washer because I cannot wait to start doing the backyard. I can't wait to hang out back there. And I did finally organize the drawers in the closet of my office. I labeled them, I spent time doing it, I had a glass of wine and I just like went through all my papers and stuff. I can show you guys that. I also finished Jenny and Georgia, it was so good. And then also I got lucky on my week off, Love is Blind came out. Actually the second half of it comes out today on Friday. So I wanna watch the rest of that, but I love Love is Blind, so I binge watched that. So yeah, it's been really nice and relaxing. I was still on Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, definitely keep up. I love Instagram stories. So I was trying to like update you guys on there, you know? Not gonna lie, I had a little bit of anxiety yesterday and this morning, and I think it's because of my appointment today, which you could tell by the title, but also the idea of picking up the camera again. I'm like, I think I was a little bit nervous to just like get back in the flow of things, you know? Now that I'm nervous to vlog, but I'm like just getting back on that routine, but I'm sure once I start vlogging today, I'll feel like back to it, you know? I'm in like relaxing mode and not like working mode, but it's fine, I'm sure you guys understand. So today I booked a LASIK surgery consultation and I roll my eyes because I'm terrified. I can't see far away. I can see up close just fine. So like reading a book, looking at my phone, I don't have to wear my glasses. Um, but I feel like my vision just gets worse every year. It does every time I go get an eye exam My vision does get worse. My vision is just really bad and blurry and I'm sick of it I'm sick of having to wear glasses and contacts also freak me out The idea of having to put them in all the time freaks me out and I'm usually in a rush. Let's be honest I don't know something being in my eye like I know that maybe I would be able to get used to it But for me, I'm more of like a one-and-done convenience person. So I'm like if I can do this surgery, which will literally probably cause like a panic attack. I'm very, very nervous, but that's why I'm going to the consultation and I'm gonna tell them all of that and see what they can do for me and how they can accommodate me. It's less than 10 minutes per eye and then it's a 24 hour to 48 hour recovery time and then I'll be done. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to worry about putting in contacts every day or worry about like, I have pretty sensitive eyes. So worry about my eyes watering and the whole idea of eyes just freak me out and just like skin and things like that in general. I've never ever had a surgery in my life. So that also terrifies me. 
and of course the one that I want you can't close your eyes and look away or like you know be put on laughing gas or something I'm pretty sure they just numb your eyes and go for it and I have to watch it happen like you have to watch this stuff come to your eye but I was doing my research to find a place to go to and I accidentally saw like an animated version and it looks like I could be wrong that they like slice a layer of your eye and then like go in your eye to do the surgery that makes me want to vomit you guys <laughs> The idea of any surgery like and I know what you're thinking like how are you gonna give birth one day I don't know just the adrenaline that I'm gonna have a child I guess will get me through when I was even booking the appointment my heart was like <laughs> so I'm like I need to talk to them about what I can do before this surgery to calm me down and I'm sure they've dealt with like many many people like that before when they called to confirm my appointment they were like any questions I was like not really. I mean, I'm, I want to have them like at the appointment, but I'm like, for right now, over the phone, I just want you to know I'm very, very, very anxious. And they were like comforting me. They're like, it's okay. He was like, you know, our doctor's been doing this since 1999, literally a year after I was born. And the doctor has done over 7,000 of these surgeries. So like, I know like nothing will go wrong. Knock on all the wood. Um, I just... The surgery itself freaks me out. Like being cut into it hurting, like that scares me. Like I know it will go good. I'm going to a very reputable, good place. So yeah, I think that's what's causing most of my anxiety. I'm very, very anxious about it, but it's just the consultation. Um, also, I have Zane coming with me to comfort me and then we're gonna go out to eat after to make me feel better. Also, I will say another thing that makes me nervous is all over the website and even on the phone, they were like, yeah, if you're a good candidate, like next week or like whenever you want like this month next week this week i was like that soon i thought it'd be like a waiting list like i thought it'd be like all right yeah you're good but you have to wait until like june or july no they're like we can do it this week i guess because it's such a quick surgery like i guess they can get patients in and out i am petrified but i also think that would be a good thing for me because i think if i said oh yeah i'll do it next month and then like for the whole month i'll be like anxious about it so maybe i should just like get it done but like i hate that i'm this way i hate that i'm so scared and i also know that it would change my life so i'm willing to go through that little bit of fear for like literally just a few days with the recovery and then your life will be changed forever Alyssa. like that would be so good i can't believe that i'll be like able to see like even when we do our engagement photo shoot in may like i would be able to see everything and i'm not, obviously not gonna wear glasses in our engagement shoot and also the wedding like i want to be able to see zane when i start to walk down the aisle so actually one of you guys commented that on my video and it really motivated me because i was like you know nervous about it i'm like oh, i'll do it soon and then they were somebody was like you should do it before the wedding so you can see zane you know on your wedding day i'm like that's so true what am i gonna do i would have to like try contacts i guess if i didn't do it so we're doing it today and actually talking about it my heart is beating really fast so i think that is what's causing a lot of anxiety for me but i know after the appointment i'll feel better and i'll feel more comforted Whew. yeah i don't think it was vlogging i think <laughs> that my anxiety is because of this appointment today but that is not until 3 15 so we've got a morning slash day together i never wrote down my gratefuls yesterday okay we've got six gratefuls i write down three every day we're gonna write down lasik consultation because i'm grateful that i can even do this answers from doctors i'm gonna talk about that on the podcast we're gonna do a whole episode on doctors and stuff i just had some revelations this week with doctors we're gonna talk about it on the pod so if you want to hear about my experience from this week you can go listen to that and my new nails i think they came out so pretty zane said this is my favorite his favorite set that i've ever done it's so cool the chrome too i've never done it before they like take their little finger in it and just rub it on your nail and it transforms your whole nail color so cool okay so for today's gratefuls it is the last day of march it is the 31st i'm definitely grateful for sunshine we're grateful for zane i'm so glad that he's coming with me he's gonna comfort me so much what else last one we'll go with skincare because my skin feels good after putting some goodies on there okay let me show you my alex drawers and then we're gonna get our workout going sorry that was really chatty i just realized i've been recording for so long but welcome back because did you expect anything less of me than to not shut up come on mama want to show them the office let's show them what we've been up to so productive right look they're coming come on my little munchkins Check it out, we've gotten rid of the printer sitting right here. Here's the closet. These three drawers are to be filled. They don't have anything in them. Actually, I'm lying. This one right now is a catch-all for random stuff that needs to go elsewhere. But once that goes elsewhere, these will be empty. <laughs> I put my printer up here. The eye fell off of my sign again. I still have to organize up there a bit. Anyways, I used my little label maker, which is so cute, by the way. And I made little labels for each drawer. So this one is the Polaroid, the mini printer, and the 
label maker. I probably should magic erase these drawers. I used to keep makeup in them, but here's that. So nice and organized. This is the label maker. It's so good. You guys should grab it on Amazon. You just hook it up with an app on your phone and then you can print the little labels. It's so easy. And this is my mini four by six printer, which I printed more and put them in my little photo book. I have to show you guys that too, but yeah, that's that. This one is microphones. This will be condensed down eventually. I only really use one of these right now for voiceovers if I do them. <laughs> And these I don't really use either, so this is like a work in progress drawer, but it's nice to have. Um, notebooks. These are reflection letters that we wrote on New Year's Eve. And then we've got some wires. Went ahead and zip tied all of them, so they're all organized into little, you know, circles. Down here is all my hard drives and my extra cameras, camera chargers. I know, it's a lot, but it's my job, so. And then this is all of my footage. This one too, this is a 12 terabyte. This is like my most recent footage but i really don't need all the raw footage i should probably go through them and delete it all i really only need like my finished videos there's no reason to have all that raw footage especially because i film so many hours down here is documents so i went ahead and organized all my tax stuff i have this by year credit card stuff my business stuff and then this last one i just needed a spot for like extra phone cases and stuff so that's what i did there and yeah this side needs to be organized still too that is that <sighs> Where's your friends? Or your enemies, I should say. Because you will probably want to eat them. You want to eat the birds? What's that little lip up? They're making a little nest up here in the stairs. So it's the perfect little spot for her to look out. We decided to, this is where we're going to do the catio. Because they can easily, you know, get out here. And then it'll be good in the summer. We'll be in the pool and we could see them, you know. And they can hang out with us. <laughs> and I was talking to my dad about it the other day. And it's good because we have this wood here. You're going to love the catio. I know it. I'm laughing at what I look like right now. It's like toothpaste, food on my sweater. <laughs> it's like I just came out of hibernation. Okay. These smell lovely. Nice fresh towels. I did not do the soaking thing again. I need to do that. I think I'm gonna roll them up because I think they'll fit better in our hallway closet. Oh, so warm. Oh my. All right, here's what we got. This is much better. If I were to just regularly fold them, they would be like a hot mess and they wouldn't fit right. I feel like this just is better. Could I have done it a little bit more neatly? Probably. And then down here, I just put this little basket and I have like all my makeup rags easily grabbable and my like hair towels. Also got a few new Amazon products that I put here so I could show you guys. One of them being these little mini gloves for weightlifting. I was finding that, look, I'm getting like little calluses, I think they're called, like rough skin right here and i don't want it to get any worse than it is from holding the weights so i got these little like mini half gloves so hopefully they work and they're good i got a paper towel holder for downstairs over our little sink it'll just be useful it's gonna be similar to that one right there that we have over our sink so we'll put that downstairs today also got this i'm gonna switch some stuff around in this kitchen and i'm gonna use this organizer how cool is this it has like a cutter i hate cutting plastic wrap it just irritates me so it kind of like has its own razor thing so you can put plastic wax and foil and then you can put all your ziplocs in it so i'm gonna organize this in our big drawers in our island so we'll set that up and then also zane always steals the napkin holder from up here and brings it downstairs so i got another napkin holder okay perfect literally just a simple wood napkin holder i'm gonna keep this one upstairs and he can take the one that's downstairs perfect love it last item i want to show you guys is we got gifted a guest book for the wedding i'm so excited all these little things that we've been doing are making it feel so much more real it's starting to come to life um this company called hopefully i pronounce this right papier i'm probably saying it wrong please forgive me but they were so nice to gift us this i just have this little paper here covering our venue and our date so that's what we have here at the bottom but they wrote this cute little note and it's so simplistic it's going to be open on the table anyway so i'll show you the inside so it just has these plain really high quality pieces of paper and what we're going to do is have people write and then also have a polar camera next to it with like little stickies so they can put a picture of them like take a selfie the moment that they wrote their note and I just feel like that'll make it a lot more personalized a lot more you know character to it 
verse just like writing. So I think it'll be cute to have pictures of everyone the day of. Little Polaroids. I love a good Polaroid. So I have seen people do guest books where they have like a blank page and then a picture of their engagement shoot. I figured the Polaroid is more cute because this is about like the guests. And then after our wedding is done, I want to do a whole book printed of the day we got engaged, our engagement shoot, and then like photos of the wedding and just have like a nice printed book of the whole journey. I think that'll be cute. So I'm excited. People are gonna have to take up like a whole page because this is a big book. <laughs> I love it. It's so simplistic. It's so us. They have so many designs on their website too, so go check it out. And of course, Zane and I picked this just like super sleek, simple design. We want it to be like a little coffee table book. Thank you so much for this gift. Gotta put this somewhere safe now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put this in our living room little console. I think I'll remember it. And in here I have my photo albums. I printed some more pictures using my little mini printer. Got a page of the cat, some family. Look at this one of Bailey. That's so funny. <laughs> This is just some like special memories. This is our first trip after the pandemic. My photo shoot with Arizona, me and Belly, me as a baby. <laughs> oh, these are all from our trip to Montauk with Arizona. That was so fun. Family over here, more of Zane and I. <laughs> this page I left blank because I want to fill in with more matching t-shirt pictures. I think that would be so cute. This is mom and dad, how cute. I love this picture of my dad. I think it's so wholesome. And I love this picture of me and him too. How freaking cute. And I thought this one was just funny. It made me think of like a little kid with their dad on like a ride. This is when we went to that mall in Jersey. <laughs> I just thought it was wholesome. And we got a page from when Zane proposed. I just left some stuff empty to, you know, make like a theme on each page I'm trying to do. I also printed our first Christmas dinner in our house. I think that's so cute. And we've got Zane hanging up the Christmas lights outside. This will probably be like a home page, you know? You feel? This is from Amazon, by the way. It's on my Amazon store in the stationery section. I filled in my little Polaroid book too with some pictures that I had laying around. So cute. I love it. I love the tangible memories. Uh, ma'am, I need to put stuff in there. Get out, you little stinker. I think that's the perfect spot. I won't forget where it is. And if I do forget that it's in here and I don't know where I put our guest book, you guys are gonna remind me that it's in the living room TV console, okay? <laughs> is that right? This way? I think that looks fine. Maybe we need smaller napkins though. Oh, I like that. It's got like something on the bottom. It like keeps it stable. Maybe they can live over here? Maybe back here. Well, that looks kind of good. I just wanna get two matching ones of these. And then I think once that's there, that'll look good. Okay, perfect. I didn't want to wear like a full glove because I hate gloves. I hate gloves, scarves, hats. I'm just now getting into wearing like baseball hats. I got a size extra small too, if you guys are curious. All right, we have to get to working out. The place just called and asked if I can move my appointment a little bit earlier. So I said yes, so let's get this show on the road. And then we're gonna take a nice shower. We need to wash this hair so bad. I washed it in the beginning of this week and I just put it in a braid and I had to brush it out yesterday. It was so knotted. So now it's just fluffy mess. Actually, it's not terrible. Wow, I could have had it down this whole time. Well, anyways, here's the workout fit. Let's go get it going. We're gonna start with 10 minutes on the bike. Okay guys, so we're about to rush out the door. I did my hair super fast. I know my roots are so bad, but I'm getting it done like the last week of this month because we have our engagement shoot next week. I mean next month. So I'm not gonna touch up my roots just to get it done a few weeks later like I can deal. I would rather not put damage to my hair if I don't need to because I do so much to it already. So we're just gonna deal with the roots and now when I get it done at the end of this month, it'll be 
way more towards my natural color that's coming in there. I did super minimal makeup too because I know they're gonna do eye tests so I didn't put on mascara because I was like probably gonna get like air blown in my eyes and stuff and I don't wanna, it, I just don't need it. So I did a little bit of concealer, brows, and that's kind of it. I'm wearing Abercrombie jeans and actually my shirt is from Abercrombie as well. It's just like a brown long sleeve. It's got the holes in the thumbs and I'm just gonna put on some sneakers. Super light jacket. Oh, you know what? I haven't worn this yet. Why don't we go for the brown on brown? That's cute. Tag. <laughs> this is from Windsor. Purse. That's the best I could do for now. I'm gonna throw on some perfume and we're out the door. Definitely cannot forget these. That's important. I look like I'm ready for a business meeting now. Okay, you guys got a fresh battery. Let's put on the sneakers. Okay. I'll see what I can film for you guys. Let's go. Um, so, I'm getting it today. <laughs> what? I'm literally like shaky, but also probably because I need to eat. Um, she was like, you want to do it today? I was like, today? I'm like, can we do it Wednesday? She's like, we only do it once a week. You'd have to come next Thursday. And she's like, I wouldn't recommend sleeping on it because you're going to get more nervous. I was like, you're right. And she's like, you have someone to drive you home. You'll be able to see tonight with no glasses. I was like, oh my God. So Zane's going to stay with me and I'm going to get it done today. Let's go. It's so exciting. It is exciting. Um, so the doctor talked to me about it a lot. That guy almost just got into a freaking accident. She talked to me uh, about it a lot. It's actually not a surgery. It's considered just a procedure. So I'm not getting surgery, never had a surgery in my life, and this is not one. And what really made me feel more comfortable about it is that there is no actual tools, it's lasers. I have my little goodie bag back there. I'm at the LASIK Institute in Garden City. Yeah. Right across from the mall. So we're gonna go grab a bite because I'm like, I need to eat a little bit of something before because afterwards, obviously there's gonna be some burning, some irritation, and I just won't be comfortable to eat. So I was like, let me get in a meal now before we do that. It's gonna take 20 minutes, maybe even a little bit less. It's a good uh, procedure to be in my no makeup era. I can't read, I can't look at my phone, I can't watch TV, nothing for the rest of the night. So I'm just gonna need to like call some people and talk on the phone or something to keep myself entertained. By tonight, I'll be able to see. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was watching people walk out and just walking out. Like they could see fine, they were okay. We were watching people come in, come out real quick. So I think I'm gonna just do it. Well, I am gonna do it because I've already paid for it and I already told her we're coming back and we signed all the papers. So, I have so many thoughts. Um, she did a dry test on my eyes. I have really dry eyes. So they're gonna get me on a, um, like a drop that I'm gonna have to take, like I'm gonna have to put in my eyes like every hour to keep them, you know, moisturized. I'm not gonna have to wear these anymore. What the? F all right, we gotta eat super fast. Looking fine. This is Zane vs. Liss. I got a Greek like bowl place, kind of like a wannabe kava. And Zane got a fried chicken sandwich and tater tots. <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be a grilled cheese with chicken. Yeah, that well, looks good. I got so much stuff on here. I put all the veggies, rice, chicken, feta, tahini on top, hummus, all the goodies. Okay, belly is full. I'm going in now. We just pulled up. And this is me before LASIK. I'm, I keep seeing people come out. They have to wear these big black goggles. I'll be wearing them all night. I wonder what about sleeping? Can I take them off? Probably. I think it's supposed to help with the... Uh, the sunlight right now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I forgot to tell you guys, but they said by tonight I'll be seeing and by the next day I can drive. And the price was unbelievable, must I say. That's also the reason why I swiped my card real quick because I was expecting it to be way more, so. But my eyes are also in pretty good condition. I bet if I had worse vision, it would be more expensive. And they're giving me like the extra HD, apparently. What else? I have to wear um, swimming goggles when I shower for the next week. <laughs> And I just talked to someone that we were talking to in the lobby. We just saw them walking out. So I was like, how was it? She's like, you'll be fine. It's just a little bit of pressure. But she's like, but I pushed out three babies. So and I was like, that helps. But if it's just pressure, I'm good. I will see you guys after. All right, baby. Get You're going to be luck. responsible I know. for filming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so I'm going to leave this with you. Yeah. See you guys after. Give me your thoughts. Um, I'm fine, actually. He was great. Yeah? Was it easy? Um, yeah. Just a lot of pressure. Really? Yes. The, was it just lights? You can't even tell what's going on because there's so many lights. Mm. You know what I mean? And the only the the thing that hurt most was the clamps on the side of your face, the pressure from those. That's it. Look at that. Yeah, like what I like I explained. Yeah, she's like I told you, you'd be fine. Yeah, no, he was definitely like 
another day at the office, but he was. <sighs> did I turn the camera on? Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's like second nature right there. Oh my god, you guys! What the fuck? Why are you laughing? Do I look funny? I just love the glasses. Oh, you like them? Let me see what I look like. Oh! <laughs> guys, I freaking did that. She put me in the room and I like all my like anxiety started to come off and my adrenaline and I just started crying. I was like, am I allowed to cry? She's like, yeah. I'm like, I can't believe I just did a life-changing surgery. I mean, procedure. How did I just do that? Dude. My legs were shooketh the whole time. And he was like, all right, I need you to stay very, very still. I was like, okay. I'm like, don't shake, don't shake, don't shake, don't shake. And he was so calming. He liked, he obviously does this so many times a day. Like I like kept thanking him. And he was like, yeah, you're welcome. But he like, <laughs> it's so casual to him. But I'm like, you just changed my life. And I get it. Cause he does it so many times a day that he's like, yeah, it's fine. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. But um, basically it's two parts. So the first part, I don't know what they actually do. I think they cut a layer of your eye, but it's so many lights. You can barely, you can't even really tell what's going on. And so the first one, he clamps open one eye. They do one eye at, at a time. So I could blink actually, you know, I could blink the other eye yeah. while he was doing it. Yeah, she said no. She was on that call. Was, oh like, yeah. And it pushes the machine up against your eye. So you really don't see anything. And he says, just stare forward. And then you like, look at a certain light that they have you focus on. Mm. And then they do it for the other eye. And then you switch to the next laser. And that one, you don't feel, but you have to stare at a green light the whole time. Mm. And that was that burning. You smell that burning stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you smelled it? Smelling mm -hmm. burning hair? Mm -hmm. and he could tell when I like lose focus. He was like, green light, green light, green light, green light. <laughs> because your eyes get like watery and blurry and you can't tell where the light even went. Right. It was the nerves of I know that they're like doing shit to my eyes right now. So I was like all shaky about something hurting. You don't know what's coming, you know? Yeah. So, but when he said stay still, I was like, Alyssa, if you move right now and mess up this surgery, <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad at you. My doctor, not the surgeon, the doctor, she was so nice and she was like, you're doing great. She's like, I checked on you and you, the first round you were like, that wasn't that bad. I know, she came out and she was like, Alyssa's doing great. Aww. And I'm like, oh, I'm excited to hear. Yeah. She was funny. She was really funny. Especially in the beginning, she when they first brought me back, they're like, you ready? I was like, no. <laughs> and she started to bring me back to the waiting room. She's like, you said you weren't ready. I was like, no, I was joking. She's like, oh my God. It like hit me with her paper. It was so funny. But um, how long was I in there? Did you time it? It was about like 30 minutes. So now I just have to do a lot of eye drops for a lot of days. Okay, guys, I'm just documenting right now. <laughs> I'm going through a difficult time because I suffer from car sickness really bad. I'm chewing a piece of gum, but they say not to open your eyes, but even if I want to open them, they're really, really hard to keep open. I'm starting to get like that burning feeling and my eyelids are really heavy, but the nausea is so bad right now. It feels like I drank too much alcohol and now I'm like sitting in the back of an Uber. That's what I feel like. But we're like, what, 17 minutes? Yes. 17 minutes from home. And now we're in traffic, work traffic. <sighs> Got this. I just had LASIK surgery. I can do anything. I've reclined the chair all the way back to the laying position and I feel a lot better. Oof. I see why they say go home and nap. I can't wait to nap. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, that one's better. I can't tell, it's kind of foggy right now. So much to update you guys on. I don't even remember what I told you yesterday. My eyes look kind of pretty. They gave me a temporary one yesterday and these were my ones to like sleep with and stuff. I'm gonna look at my eyes for the first time. I have not been able to open them or look in the mirror. I had to sleep and my hair is all messed up from that thing. Okay, let's see. Ooh, there's like red in them. They look quite normal though. Benji, go. Wow, good morning. I can't believe I did that. So I'm not allowed to like rub my eyes for like a whole month, I'm pretty sure. I have my do's and don'ts list. Let me grab that actually. 
So it says, expect your eyes to be red and irritated, tearing and burning for the first few hours. So that's exactly what happened when we got home. I don't think I filmed because I was just like, first of all, the car ride. I know I got some clips there. That was like the hardest part for me because of my car sickness. I get very car sick. I can't go on my phone. I can't close my eyes unless I lay down. And then I was like, wait a minute, why am I not laying down? So I finally like put the seat all the way back and it helped me so much. No. But I was like, how am I gonna make it through this car ride? Like, I was so nauseous. Benji, in or out? You wanna go to the shower? Wanna go in there? You want water? He wants water. Yeah, the car, the car ride was really hard. And I was just, I couldn't open my eyes because it burned so bad. I had the sunglasses on and it says like, don't open your eyes in the car. Keep your eyes closed in the car, wear your goggles, take a three to four hour nap. It's okay if you can't fall asleep, just relax and keep your eyes closed. You will experience tearing, watering, and burning for 48 hours after your treatment. It's normal. Do not rub your eyes. Avoid having contact with your eyes for several days after your treatment. You, are, you can start to resume normal activities, including work and exercise, the day after your treatment. Use common sense when resuming that, these activities. So she said, like, if you work out, don't get sweat in your eyes. Like, you know, make sure you blot your head, wear a headband, whatever. It's normal to have large areas of redness, which I have. It'll go away within two to three weeks. It's normal to have fluctuating vision. Okay, this is what I wanted to read because right now everything's kind of hazy. I'm about to do eye drops, so we'll see if that helps, but it feels like a haze, like a cloud over it. I feel a piece of fuzz in my lash. Benji, don't do that. It's normal to have fluctuating vision, dry eye symptoms, glares, halos, and mild eye strain during the healing process. It takes several months for the eyes to fully stabilize after your treatment. Benji, your vision may fluctuate from day to day and even morning to evening. The eyes heal independently of one another. One eye may heal faster and see better than the other. There. crazy right so that's really comforting because right now i'm like why can't i see perfectly i still feel hazy but that's normal i guess i have two types of eye drops the first ones are called this <laughs> medicated eye drops and i do that four times a day so i'm gonna start that in like two hours ish so that i can have it all throughout the day because it's 7 30 in the morning right now i got a lot of sleep i fell asleep very early you cannot over moisturize the eyes with artificial tears we encourage using them as often as possible this will increase the comfort level help stabilize your vision and improve the healing time i don't know if i said this sorry if i repeat myself um it was a lot going on yesterday but she did a dry test on me and my eyes are very very dry she's like so you're just gonna have to start using eye drops which i knew that i don't know why i never explored the option of eye drops i just kind of dealt with my dry eyes i blink so much and it's because I have dry eyes, duh. She was funny too, I told her. I'm like, yeah, everyone tells me I blink too much. She's like, that's kind of mean. That's like someone, that's like telling someone they chew too loud. I was like, it's okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. I did it. Okay, got it. This is new to me. I've never really done eye drops before. My vision is getting less hazy. I can't, I keep saying, I can't believe I did that yesterday. I'm so proud of myself. Should I do one more? I want to see if I can explore other options for something like this though. I'm pretty sure they have another brand on here. These say you have to throw this out after you're done. So it's like a one-time use and look how much product is in there that I'm wasting. I don't like that. You are so drama. I think you're more drama than me. Yeah. What I wanted to say is they make it like a real surgery. Like you walk in and you have your name and date of birth on you. And they're like, state your name, date of birth. All right, uh, right eye 2.950. Right eye, 2.950. Moving on to the left eye. And they would like repeat each other. Like he had like his assistant, I guess. And it was like a real surgery when they like, you know, make sure that they say everything out loud. And you're getting LASIK today? Da -da -da. I was like, yes. And she said something like something cornea. And I didn't know what she was saying. And I just like looked at her and she was just like, yes, that's what you're getting. <laughs> It made it like so official. It was crazy. I also only remember them playing three songs. So if you think about that, I feel like it went so much quicker than I thought, but like I could have very well been in there for like 15 minutes. But to me, it felt so fast. It was a Rihanna song. Um, I don't know if you could take it. It wasn't super loud, but they were like bumping in there. And then it was another song that I didn't know. And then it was a Sam Smith song. That's what I remember. So I'm like three songs. What are they like? Maybe three minutes each, like nine minutes. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm taking my probiotics. It is crappy rainy day today. It's gonna be one of those Saturdays where we just sit around at home and I'm so happy with that. I don't really have to wear this thing unless I'm sleeping so I don't accidentally rub my eyes, but I feel like I would have a moment where I would forget for a second and like go to rub my eye and then I'll be really mad at myself if I do that. So I will be wearing this for the next week because <laughs> 
I mean, not in public, but like if I can at home, I'm gonna make sure that I don't accidentally rub my eyes because if I mess this up, I'll be so mad at myself. Cats! Oh my God, they're having a battle. All three of you, cut it out. Look at this weather, womp womp. Gloomy, rainy, crappy day. I'm not mad about it though, right? Cozy day? Sounds good to me. Let's do our gratefuls. We've got a lot to be grateful for today. Oh my God, it's April 1st, April Fools. Wow, a fresh start to the month. April showers bring May flowers, right? That's why it's raining. I am grateful for a successful, how do you spell that? I spelled it wrong for sure. A successful procedure. I'm grateful for Zane, he helped me the whole time yesterday. He helped take care of me, put in my eye drops, made sure I was on time with everything. He laid with me. He helped me set up my podcast and skip all the ads. It was great. <laughs> I'm also just grateful for doctors, like because I could never, and I'm so glad that there's people out there that want to do that because couldn't be me, so. There's a job for everyone, right? Okay, got some more Amazon stuff. I got more of these, and then you guys are gonna laugh at this. This is what I have to shower with. Oh wow, they come in a little fancy packaging. <laughs> I mean, they're not any worse than what's on my face right now, so. This is what I have to shower with, so I don't get my eyes wet. <laughs> hey, these will be useful. I will, tell me I won't actually use these in the summer in the pool, because I will, so I can go underwater and see. Also, I think I got a PR package from American Eagle, question mark? Sorry, American Eagle, if you're watching this and I look like this. Let me take these off just to be nice. <laughs> I'm not rubbing my eyes right now. Be aware, Alyssa. I guess I really don't need to wear those every single second. Oh, American Eagle and Elf? They collaborated? That is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a jean pocket baggy. Let me turn on the freaking light. The lights in here are like motion sensors, so that's why they keep turning it off. This is adorable. <laughs> kind of weird, but like cute. A clay mask. Lip balm. I could try that right now, actually. Love me a good lip balm. Cute packaging. Okay, hopefully it's not blue. Yeah, it's not, okay. <laughs> it's blue because it's jeans, I get it. it. Smells like nothing, but it's hydrating. Love that. And lastly, we've got an eyeshadow palette. How cute, it looks like a little jean tag. Love that. I actually really like the eye look that the model is wearing on the packaging. I, maybe I'll try to do that, get a little frisky. Not this week though, not allowed to wear makeup this week. I'm thriving over here, you guys. Just getting more things done. I just put in some more eye drops. I'm gonna put in our athletics. These are basically all my athletics. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but Zane actually ended up um, fracturing his wrist. Fracturing? Tearing, I think he fractured it. Um, but he hasn't been able to play tennis for, it's been like well over a month now. He's not happy about it. Anytime he does like anything slight, his wrist kills him. He got the MRI and everything and all they said was to, you know, wear a brace and rest up. And tomorrow, uh, Monday, he has the follow up with his doctor to see how everything is going. But I can't imagine how frustrating that is. Tennis was like his thing, like makes him happy so i feel really bad that he's not able to do that even like weightlifting you just can't when your wrist is killing you you know oh, okay a nice clean kitchen let's go ahead and do this i'm excited here's the drawer that i want to use i'm hoping that this is like deep enough i didn't even think that far so let's just hope first we're gonna take everything out of here just put it all up on the island this is actually more barbecue tools that my parents gave me which does not need this insane case i guess these might come out like why is there lemonade in here? I'm, I don't know. This is all tools for my Blackstone grill. I'm so excited to use that this summer. Drawer is emptied. If I have lines on my head, it's from wearing that eye shield thing. Oh, it comes with the labels. I can put them on wherever I want. Look, you could even hang this on your wall if you wanted to. If you had like a big walk-in pantry, actually we do, I could put it in there. It's actually not a terrible idea, huh? Let's see how it fits in this drawer. I could always hang it after. That would, that would actually be pretty cool, all the way on the wall by the snacks. This is definitely more like practical because all this stuff we're gonna use in the kitchen, then we don't have to walk, not that it's far, but then we don't have to walk into the pantry to get it. This actually might even be too thick for this drawer. Fail, it doesn't fit. Wow. Welp. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
I couldn't even barely see him until he jumped out, right? What would this look like on the wall? Let's see. <gasps> like this wall would be perfect because then you can't see it unless you come all the way over to this side. And then we can have these here with all the zip locks and we'll have more drawer space inside. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? I think actually this is the perfect spot for this. I wanna get Zane's opinion and then see if we should do it. So our garbage wasn't closing and I realized there was some stuff stuck behind the drawer and then I looked in here and I was like, ew. I can't even tell you if I've ever even vacuumed this. So <laughs> I grabbed my vacuum. <gasps> See, I totally just missed. I don't want to waste it. I'm supposed to use the whole bottle. Okay, that went in. Oh my god, yeah, you have a bunch of red spots in your eyes. Yeah, not crazy. Both times a little bit came out. It's okay, I felt it go in my eye. Yeah. I don't want to waste this one because it's the medication. Okay. Do you guys hear Benji? What? Show me. Show me what's the problem. Show me what's the problem. Good. What? Why are you meowing like that? <laughs> no, these are my goggles. You cannot have them. And in fact, I'm gonna put them back on because I'm scared of cat hair or anything getting in my eye. Oh yeah? What could you possibly be so dramatic for? Show me. Okay. You're just drama for no reason. Check this out, you guys. So I'm just looking at like the folder of all like the papers that they gave me. And this is like about my doctor. And look, they have two doctors there. So I wonder if on the phone they were talking about the other one that did 7,000. He's done 15,000. That's insane. That makes me feel even better. <laughs> this is what I was talking about, by the way. When I went into the room, she was like, and you're getting Contora? And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I only know it by the name LASIK, but I got Contora. LASIK, I guess it's called. Super cool. All right, last thing before I lay my booty on the couch. <laughs> I'm gonna set up this paper towel holder right above this sink down here. Benji's not happy with me, but he won't come back up if I let him down here. So he's gonna have to deal for a second. Peel this off. Is that too high? <laughs> I don't know if that's too high. Should it have been like here level? Or I was thinking so it didn't get splashed on. You know what I mean? Well, too late now. Oh, okay, maybe not too late now. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm gonna put it a little bit lower then. Right here, looks good. Back your little booty up. I see you. <laughs> Okay, we are getting all nice and cozy on the couch. I am gonna watch the um, rest of Love is Blind came out today. I think it's the whole, all of the rest of it. More episodes came out. I don't know if it's like up until the finale, but I'm just posting on Instagram now because I haven't said anything yet. I got it done yesterday and I haven't told you guys about it on Instagram. So I wanna make like a little post. I just took some selfies in my glasses. So <laughs> I'm gonna just like write up a little thing about my experience and stuff. I just put more eye drops in. I don't know if I said that. It actually feels so good the eye drops and i feel like my vision is getting clearer and clearer i'm still hazy but i know that's normal so that's where i'm at and i can't wait to snuggle up and watch my show and then i'm gonna read my book probably eat a little something and have a really chill day i love waking up early because i feel like i get so much done it's only 10 50 a.m and the house is nice and clean so tomorrow's sunday cleaning will just be more like wiping things down a nice little vacuum but like the house is tidy there's no clutter anywhere and I'm so happy about that. So a nice relaxing weekend. It honestly was the perfect weekend to get this done. Everything really works out. I so believe in that. Everything happens for a reason. I just was meant to get this done yesterday. It just worked out perfectly. And I got to document it for you guys. I like wanted to start filming this weekend for, you know, coming back from my break off of filming. And it just, everything's working out seamlessly. Let me get this posted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can. No way. Yeah, I can. You guys, I can see the freaking TV. The more eye drops I put in throughout the day, the better my vision is getting. For sure. Like, it's only one day and I'm already, I already can see and read what's on the TV, all of it. No way. Yes. This to me. Single seeking romance attempt to bond without meeting face to face in what Shut probably God calls one of the most interesting reality shows what? currently airing. I would never be able to read that. These little words right here, absolutely not. Dude, that is so awesome. Oh my God, I can see. 
How exciting is that? Oh my god! That is incredible. And it's just gonna get better. That's incredible. In like a few months, it'll be like the best it'll ever be. Anyways, you guys had to show you that I can see. So crazy. I got my little post up on Instagram. I did like a written version. If you guys are curious and you want to see it, I like numbered all the photos and like wrote about my experience. So if you guys want to go check that out. I also put it on TikTok. It's my first time doing this. It's like a little photo thing. And I thought it came out cute with some little music behind it. So um, just heated up some lunch. Brussels sprouts and chicken wings left over. I can't tell if this camera is foggy or if it's my vision. <laughs> I think it's okay. Um, leftover chicken wings, leftover Brussels, and I just made a quick salad. Arugula, romaine, Italian, sliced almonds, and some wonton strips. And I'm gonna watch Love is Blind. Oh, tell me it's only, 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 what? Tell me they only released one episode. Oh, oh, there's three. Okay. Next episodes are available April 7th and April 14th. Oh, so they're releasing it in lots of parts. Okay, so I only have three to watch today. That's fine. And then I'll read my book. <laughs> Okay, a little update. I finished Love is Blind. I have so many thoughts, but I'm gonna wait to finish the whole entire season and then we're gonna recap on the podcast. Benji's like, shut up. I'm trying to nap over here. I'm in my little swivel chair in the corner of the living room. My next project I think is gonna be getting this whole side prepared. I want it to be like a little reading nook with a cute mirror and some shelving for my books and decor. I think it'll like look really nice in here. So that's my plan next. I'm just not sure what I want to do yet and I don't want to rush into anything. So I'm like taking my time on like Pinteresting and researching what I want, what kind of shelving I want and stuff like that. It is really nice out. I was tempted to go sit outside and read, but I'm not risking sitting in the sun. Even with sunglasses on, they said like, oh, if you go in the sun, just make sure you wear sunglasses. But I'm like, I don't think sitting in the sun if I don't have to the day after LASIK is a good idea. So I'm going to not do that because I want to heal the best way possible. So I'm going to sit right here. I opened up the blind so I get some sunshine in here. And I'm reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Really good so far. I'm on page 83. We're going to make some progress on this book. I look so funny. And then in a little bit, we're going to... um make some dinner probably all right it's dinner time i saw this thing on tiktok i just looked up like recipes with chicken breast so i'm gonna just make my own version of it it's gonna be like a potato and chicken skillet really simple and easy we had some potatoes so i just chopped up some yellow potatoes i'm gonna toss them with some olive oil kind of bring you guys over here so we can season salt pepper just got a brand new garlic powder in the mail so i need to fill up our little one but Garlic powder, onion powder, and some paprika. <gasps> Did you use this last? Paprika? Yeah. I don't think so. Why was there no top on it? There's no top on it? There's no like whole thing. Oh no. <gasps> Who did that? Where is it? That had to be you when you made the chicken wings. Oh no, we didn't use paprika. Uh-huh. When did we use blame. that? I use lemon pepper. Oh, paprika doesn't have that strong of a flavor, so it's fine, but I need to find a top to put on that. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're gonna uh, toss those around. <laughs> oh, these are gonna be red, huh? Maybe I should have dumped some out. I'm a fan of paprika personally, so. I mean, I just dumped half the freaking bottle in here. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna air fry these, get them a little cooked before they go in the skillet. <laughs> Holy paprika. Okay, we're gonna season our chicken, onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm gonna go in with some cumin. We have pepper jack cheese, that's probably what I'm gonna top this with, and then we can use like sour cream, avocado. It gets like stuck. The cumin? Yeah. I noticed that too, it's so weird. I think it's too thick or something. It needs some color. We already have too much paprika, so we're gonna do a little bit of chili powder. We're gonna get a nice amount of butter. It's gonna add flavor. Melting in this. Now that our chicken and potatoes are almost done, we're gonna start the oven. We just want to melt the cheese on top. So honestly, I'm probably gonna go with like a light broil. 475. We're about to have a thunderstorm and I just went into the living room to get my sippy cup and I saw lightning. <gasps> it was so spooky. Okay, all right, we're gonna give that a little mix of roux. I'm gonna add some sour cream just to make it a little bit saucy. I treated myself to the squeeze sour cream. I already shredded up some pepper jack cheese. 
That's gonna go on top. I am gonna throw this in the oven just for a few minutes until the cheese gets a little broiled. <gasps> oh my God, do you guys hear that thunder? <gasps> I think we'll see the lightning again. <laughs> My reflection, I look like a ninja turtle. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, ready everyone? Oh, by the way, Zane likes my idea of putting the Ziploc stuff in the pantry. I think it's gonna look really cute. Absolutely. That would be Make really cool. genius. Yeah. Sign me up for that. We'll bring out the big boys for this one. Yum. Bailey. Seems promising. I'm at this point of it where I'm like, our plates are kind of a lot, but there's like a tiny bit left. So I'm like, might as well put it on the plates, right? Now I'm just using stuff that we had in the fridge. A little bit of greens in there, you know? A little bit of crunch. I already had them cut up, so why not? We're also gonna do some, oh, <laughs> scallions. That one went rogue. Okay, next up we have some avocado. Free shavakadu. Free shavakadu. Oh, oh my God, she is ripe. We need some avocado. Can you add avocado to our grocery list? It's our last one. Cannot live without avocados. All right, and then we got my favorite, sour crema. I feel like I'm just gonna run out of this little package so quick. Also on our last leg of Cholula too. I think we have little packets in the fridge also, but some Cholula on top of there. It's like a little bowl, just potatoes instead of rice. Oh my God, RIP to the Cholula. You know? I was just about to call you. <gasps> I just saw the lightning. Me too. It forces me to eat slower. <gasps> this is our first thunderstorm in the house. That was you, loud. you love it. You like you want you've been wanting this. Like, yeah, as long as we don't flood. Alright, there she is. I don't know if it looks that pretty, but I feel like it's gonna taste good. All right, we're gonna watch Ted Lasso. I keep falling asleep, but we're starting earlier tonight, so hopefully I can make it through an episode. <laughs> Should we try? Can we do it? We haven't done a little taste test in a while in my goggles. I'm really scared of like cat hair and dust getting in my eyes. Get a little bit of everything. Okay, a little bit of everything. Oh my God, they like Fiesta potatoes. Oh, it turns good too. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay. This actually does taste like a healthier Taco Bell bowl. It does. Mmm. Mad good. I'm gonna need some more Cholula. I think we have packets. I have these from like HelloFresh meals or whatever when oh, they yeah. say like put them on to taste if you want more. I'm okay. You definitely blessed me with more Cholula. I did, yeah, and then it ran out the bottle. <laughs> Our first thunderstorm and yummy homemade food and cozy. <gasps> the <Epony. laughs> That thunder's so loud, huh? All right, let's start up the dishwasher. Okay, we are ready for bed. Moisturized. I avoided my eye area, don't worry. Keep the brush retainer is in. I needed some moisturizer on my face. I haven't put any on since yesterday morning and I have really dry skin, so that feels really nice. I just put some more eye drops in before I head to bed. The hatch alarm is on. I'm gonna read some more of my book, Making Good Progress. It's pretty good. I'm curious at how it's gonna end. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to get to like the point of the story because it's basically a lot of like flashbacks between the one character like six years ago and then today. And there's a lot of similarities between his life six years ago and today. So I'm very curious in what the whole like build up and like finishing piece is gonna be. You know what I mean? Like how it's all gonna tie together basically. I'm gonna read a little bit. I'm probably gonna fall asleep quite soon, but that's fine because I have been loving waking up early. I feel like I get so much more done, so. Oh, and tomorrow we have Zumba. I'm allowed to work out. I was allowed to resume normal activities today, but I just wanted to be a little bit more careful. I'd rather take it chill today and not mess anything up. Make sure I do all my eye drops on time and not sweat. Like I just wanted to take it really chill today. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to Zumba and I'll not have to wear my glasses for the first time. I'll be able to see myself in the mirror, which is unbelievable. I remember like if I would take my glasses off in the middle of class to like clean them on my shirt, it would just be, everything would just be blurry. So that's gonna be really cool tomorrow. I look insane. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Sunday. Um, my first time, these are my sister's glasses. I have to wear sunglasses in the sun for like the next month, I think. Like I cannot be in the sun without sunglasses. And I was looking through all of them and I was trying to find 
Esquay sent me ones last summer. And I, or no, I got them at an event or something. They're so cute and I couldn't find them. So I need to find them. So for now we're using my glasses that I, that my sister likes to say I stole, even though she said that I can keep them. But first time driving and doing Zumba with not having to wear eyeglasses. And this is crazy. Like I'm sitting in this parking lot and I can read the Taco Bell sign that is literally all the way across the highway. That is nuts. And I was like testing it as I was driving, like, cause usually without my glasses, like I can't drive without them because I literally will not be able to read like someone's license plate, like a few cars away. And I can now it's insane. So, and it's just going to get better. You know, like I'm only on day two of healing, just got it done on Friday and it's Sunday. So making really good progress. It is sunny. It is gorgeous out. And I think we're going to go run through the car wash because it's on the way home from the gym. So it's like my little Sunday routine. I was going to get a few groceries, but we have factor coming this week. And also I would like to make a Costco run and I am not daring going to Costco on a Sunday. So I think we'll go during this upcoming week. We'll go to Costco one of these days, but for tonight I have some chicken we have some veggies like we have some frozen chicken burgers we have stuff to eat today so i'm gonna save myself that terrible experience of going to a grocery store on sunday and we'll go to costco this week so that's that today's gonna be a good day let's do it i can see so every day is gonna be a good day look what i just found in my middle console my sunglasses i was looking for very happy about that all right i'm gonna take my symbiotic now i didn't want to take it before doing heavy cardio because I have a pretty sensitive stomach and I'm on an empty stomach, so I didn't want to get like nauseous. So we're gonna take it now. Since I can take those big pills now, I'm a big girl and I switched from cranberry gummies to the little pills, which are smaller than the probiotic, symbiotic. Ah. All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some Sunday cleaning stuff done before I shower and be like nice and relaxed because after I shower, I think I just wanna chill so i'm gonna get all that boring stuff done i gotta put away my laundry start cleaning up the kitchen the bathrooms and then later zane and i are going to start to plan our italy trip and we want to look at some more vendor stuff for the wedding so we're just gonna have like a meeting we said we would have a meeting at our um dining table in the dining room so that's gonna be fun i'm like we just need to take a day and take like a few hours to just like look at everything and the flights and all that jazz and today's a good sunday because the house really isn't bad so it's not going to take us all day like it usually does like hours um today should be pretty quick i just recently mopped so just a quick vacuum wipe down the counters Okay, Sunday cleaning is done. Banged that out real quick. Kept up with the house pretty good this week, so it wasn't that bad. I got my eye drops freshly in, and I just did a little quick change. I just changed into a black sports bra and some black joggers, and we're actually gonna go out to a little lunch. We have so many gift cards to a bunch of food restaurants, and we've been meaning to use them, and I was like, honestly, I'm hungry. Today would kind of be like the perfect day, and Zane was down, and it's like sunny and nice out, so I'm like, let's get out of the house, go have a little lunch lunch and then when I get home I'll take my nice shower get into cozies and I can relax this closet is making me wear things that I haven't grabbed for in a long time so I'm just wearing these little slip-on vans that is the cozy fit and we have to decide where we want to go Benji you cannot come I'm so sorry so we've accumulated all these gift cards I think it was all throughout Christmas um, not a huge fan of a lot of these places but we have gift cards so might as well use. Cheesecake Factory, I'm a stan. Chili's I haven't been to in years. The only good thing at Olive Garden is their breadsticks and their gnocchi soup. And Longhorn pff, has failed me the last few times we've gone there. But they do have a crazy good shrimp appetizer. And that's coming from somebody that doesn't like sea critters. Should we go off the map because we were saying cheesecake or chili? Should we just do Longhorn? F it. That's your call. This is sure. your idea. Sure. YOLO. All right. YOLO, she says. They failed me on the steak sandwich. I loved it the first time I got it. The second time I got it, it was soggy and tasted like nothing. It was disgusting. Uh, your mistake is getting a steak sandwich at like a mid-tier restaurant. It's a steak house. It good. 
They're just put their steak on no, bread. No, but it's not like a, it's like a chain Whatever, steak. let's like try outback. again. Let's see. <laughs> Don't get the steak sandwich though. Okay, I'm not gonna get it. Okay guys, we've decided to get a bunch of like little things. So we're gonna get the wild mush shrimp, we're gonna get spinach dip, we're gonna get mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, and it comes with bread for the table. We're gonna share it all. That sounds amazing. We'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> That's, that's our plan. I think, this is and the right way to do I think so too, because they have good little sides and little pickings instead of like, I was looking at Parmesan crusted chicken or um, grid, grilled shrimp and Zane's like, eh. Listen, it's gonna be good, but I know you and you're gonna expect it to be like here. But, like we're just not in that type of restaurant. I have low expectations for the other one, so. <laughs> okay, bread was good. These are good, very greasy though. And they're very spicy today. This is why I come here. <laughs> this is what, this is I, the best which shit. is funny because they're sea critters. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and it's your favorite thing here, shrimp. I know. You weird. We're planning Italy while we eat. All right, we got everything on the table now. We got the spinach dip with the chips. We got mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts. These I'm not a fan of. I had a few, but they're way too greasy for me. Zane's favorite. But I know they'll make me sick if I keep eating them. But I know their Brussels sprouts are good. Mac and cheese looks promising. Nice thick chips. We are back home from our extravaganza. Oh yeah. It was so bad, you guys. So bad. <laughs> the more we okay, sat there. It was not the greatest. It's all good. Listen, I'm a human yeah. garbage can. No, kid. we're grateful that we had food. We we actually had money left over on our gift cards, so we were able to give it to another couple that was sitting having dinner. Yeah. And they seemed really happy and excited about it. So I was like, here you go. You can have the rest of our gift card. And they were like, oh, thanks. So that's that was good. That came out of it. But wouldn't go there again. Um, but I just had to update you guys because we talked about, you know, giving it a last shot. Yeah, it didn't live up. Like I was saying, I'm a human garbage can, so I'll eat anything. I mean, same. Taco Bell and McDonald's are my favorite, but like, no, they're I'm worth it. I'll eat anything. As long as you're not allergic theory. to it, I'll eat anything. And mm -hmm. it was like, it's solid. You know, it's not the greatest, but mm -hmm. it was fun. We had a great time. It made a, it made for really good memories because at the end yeah. we were just laughing. We're like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Get us yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it was fun though. We just yeah. went for a walk. Yeah, so we felt high. we were like, you know what? The sun is shining. We feel like <laughs> after that meal. <laughs> Let's go walk around our neighborhood. We've never really took a little, taken a little walk around our neighborhood. It was our first time and it was so nice. It was so yeah. peaceful and I actually got inspired. I ended up seeing like a little uh, yellow like flower bush thing and I was like, should we take some off and bring them home? He was like, yeah, why not? So we, it's for me. it wasn't in front of someone's house. It was like on the street next to like a fence. Does that make sense? So we weren't like on someone's property. It was definitely like owned by someone, but I, don't, I think they wouldn't mind. So we stole some <laughs> and <laughs> I put them in this little vase on our... Uh, Entryway, a little pop of yellow. I think it looks cute. We took a little Polaroid with our flowers on our first walk. It came out so cute. Anyways, that's that. Zane's gonna go work. I'm gonna take a shower, read my book, relax for the rest of this Sunday. This is probably a really long vlog, so thank you for coming along for my LASIK journey. I can see the whole time we were walking, I was she like- She was naming street signs, house numbers, everything, wow. and I'm like, that's so awesome. So cool. So awesome. So cool. So that's been really awesome. So thank you guys for coming along on the journey. In the next vlog, I'll update you guys on how I'm doing. The next vlog will have my little um, like follow-up appointment I'm gonna go there and they're gonna check everything make sure everything's going good. I have to put in eye drops right now. Yeah Okay, don't let me forget. So yeah, take a nice shower read my book enjoy the rest of this Sunday And I'll pick it back up for the next vlog tomorrow. Want to do my outro with me? What's your outro? Okay, love you. Bye. I don't no, that's that's the I, know, I, know. I have like um, headband head not hat hair, but headband hair. Thank I, you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching yeah. and I will see you all next time. Yeah, bye, bye. guys yeah. <laughs> Anyways I use my little makeup, what? Label maker, did I do this? No. I actually got a few new Amazon products too. I actually, what? Oh my! These are all of my extra notebooks which are helpful for pot, hello? Why can't I speak? This was my fear of vlogging. I still can't talk. And I just went into the living room to get my water cup. What? My sippy cup? That's illegal. These are letters that some of us wrote each other. Oh no. Today is not gonna be that day. Leaving without the sippy, that's illegal. Okay. Was my camera black or am I just losing my vision?